Good morning, all of you. Today's topic is profit concept and analysis. This particular topic coming under block five, unit twenty. This is the last unit of the our ordeal. In this particular topic, uh, we are going to introduce a new analysis called break-even analysis. Under break-even analysis, what we mean by break-even point, how to construct the break-even chart. What do you mean by safety margin? What is targeted profit? And of course, how to formulate the break-even quantity and uh, CVP analysis, cost to volume and profit analysis. These are the uh, topics that we are going to complete in this particular unit. The main objective of this particular unit is to understand the concept, uh, the theory of profit. In uh, managerial economics, the profit analysis is a form of cost accounting used for elementary instruction and uh, short run decisions. A profit analysis widens the use of uh, information provided by break even analysis. An important part of this particular uh, unit, that is, profit analysis, is to point where the total revenue and the total cost are equal. When TR equal to TC, then it is regular. That's what we try to mean. How to get that? We will get into the analysis. In the process of profit planning, it is mandatory to forecast the profit for the required future period in order to manage the hurdles of the investment analysis. Of course, there is some problem from labor union and uh, the government authorities uh, uh, may give different policies. So by considering all these things, that we should do the profit planning. The management technique uh, which connect the cost factor, the revenue factor, output factor, price factor, and of course the sales factor, uh, all these things uh, together, we can discuss in the break-even analysis. There are few basic uh, concepts involved in the break-even analysis, uh, such as break-even point BEP, break-even chart, safety margin, and targeted profit. We will see one by one. The break-even point. In the break-even analysis, uh, which has a considerable significance of economic research, the business, uh, business decision-making uh, company will include either investment analysis or public policy or any other issues related with the business. The main uh, theme is they should know where they can get the break-even. Because the break-even analysis is important technique to trace the relationship between the cost, revenue, and profit. And uh, it's varying uh, the level of output or the sale. In the break-even analysis, the break-even point is located at uh, the level of output or the sales at which the net income or profit is zero. At this point, the total cost is equal to total revenue. Hence, the break-even point is otherwise called no profit, no loss point or zero income point or equal cost and revenue point. So, there are different names for the break-even point. What are they? It is called no loss, no profit point or sometimes it is called zero income point or it may be called as equal cost and revenue point. So, the break-even point refers to the point at which the total revenue of the firm is equal to the total cost incurred by him. In easy word, BP is TR equal to TC, where TR is a total revenue and TC is a total cost. So how to uh, get this particular break-even point? For that, we have to construct the break-even chart. The break-even chart refers to graphical representation of the break-even point, which includes the cost function. The cost function means we have to include both the fixed cost and the variable cost. From the revenue side, the revenue function we have to consider it is nothing but a multiplication of uh, price into output. It represents both the profit zone and the last zone of the break-even point in terms of level of output and the cost is incurred. Another expected question uh, in semester and examination, a section equation, define safety margin or what is safety margin? The break-even chart represents the profit position of the firm under different level of output. In this, the safety margin is a management tool 
which helps the firm to avoid the last position in terms of proportional value we may say our percentage of additional output in easy way the safety margin is the extent to which the firm can afford a decline in the sales before it starts incurring the loss so there is a formula for safety margin it is nothing but sales minus bp divided by sales into 100 here bp is break even point so the difference between the sales and uh, break even point divided by sales is a safety margin value one more question is possible is targeted profit the most of the firm uses the targeted profit technique in order to achieve the expected level of profit by using pv ratio profit volume ratio the formula to calculate the tar uh, targeted sales volume is fixed cost plus targeted profit divided by contribution margin per unit here the contribution margin is nothing but pv where p minus v price minus variable cost now let us move to the next thing what is the formula to calculate the break even quantity as i said earlier bp equal to fc divided by p minus v bar what is fc fixed cost here the p is selling price and v bar is variable cost per unit how to prove this at the bp we know that the total revenue equal to total cost that is tr equal to tc what is tr price into quantity then what is tc fixed cost plus variable cost so the equation one says pq equal to fc by bc where p is a price q is a break even sales fc is a fixed cost and vc is a variable cost by using that equation one we can reformulate keep the uh, quantity into the right side p equal to fc divided by q plus v bar what is v bar variable cost by quantity so it is variable cost per unit where v bar is a variable cost per unit that is uh, variable cost divided by quantity then uh, moving the variable cost per unit from right side to left side so selling price minus variable cost per unit p minus v bar equal to fixed cost by quantity once again uh, moving the quantity to the left side q into p minus v bar equal to fc so keeping q in the left side the formula for uh, bp can be extracted break even quantity can be extracted what is that q equal to fc divided by p minus v bar this is the way we can derive the formula for this we are using uh, cvp analysis what is cvp analysis cost volume profit analysis the object of break even analysis is uh, not just to determine the break even point but to understand the financial relationship among the cost revenue and rate of output it is also called cvp analysis cost profit and volume analysis you can see the diagram in this figure the total cost and total revenue are plotted uh, in horizontal and vertical axis where the sales and output of were plotted in you can see in x axis output quantity in y axis revenue and cost the slope of the tr curve refers to the constant price say rupees 10 per unit at which the firm can sell its output the total cost curve indicates the total fixed cost of rupees 200 and a constant average variable cost avc rupees 5 so the slope of tc curve you can see initially it is above the tr at vp it is intersecting and it move lower than the total revenue <coughs> in the figure it is clear from the firm the break even equal to tr equal to tc which is equal to 400 at q equal to 40 per unit we can say you can see point b the cost volume profit or a break even chart is a flexible tool to quickly analyze and plan accordingly for the effect of change in the condition of the firm for example an increase in the price of the commodity can be shown in the increase in the slope of the tr curve and shown as the increase in the fixed cost of the firm it's easy to uh, represent of course 
it will be reflected in the vertical axis the intercept term of the tc is more that is that particular value is fixed cost and uh, increase in the average cost by decreasing the tc value so the break even analysis can also perform algebraically in a following manner the total revenue is equal to the selling price per unit of the quantity of the uh, or sale what does it mean pr equal to p into q the total cost uh, equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost since the tvc is equal to average variable cost time uh, the quantity of output or the sales we have tc equal to tfc plus avc setting the total revenue equal to total cost by substituting qb that is a break even output we can get p into qb equal to tfc plus avc qb solving this equation qb equation number 4 we can get uh, tfc qb equal to tfc uh, by p minus avc is nothing but fc divided by p minus vb here the tfc is 200 Price is rupees ten, AVC is rupees five, and QB is forty. It's easy to calculate. Why because QB equal to two hundred divided by ten minus five, it will give the value forty. The same break-even output shown in the cost volume profit also. Uh, the denominator of the equation PA minus VC are called contribution margin. Price minus variable cost per unit is nothing but contribution. so let us move to the last one the profit planning more generally suppose the firm wishes to earn specific profit and want to estimate the quantity that they must sell uh, to earn a particular profit then cvp that is cost volume profit or a break even analysis can be used to determine the target output qt at which the target profit is represented by small pt you can see in the bracket it can be achieved to do so uh, we simply add uh, pt to the numerator that is in equation 5 we can add pt you can see the equation 5 tfc qb equal to tfc by p minus avc that uh, pt is to be added in the numerator so qt equal to tfc plus ptp by p minus avc in this example tfc is 200 uh, pt is also 200 and av uh, price is 10 and uh, avc is 5 so 400 divided by 5 which is equal to 80 why it is happened because of the cost profit volume analysis to see the output uh, quantity equal to 80 does not indeed lead to a target profit please note er equal to p into q which is equal to 10 into 80 which is 80 800 is the total cost then totally how much uh, it is coming 200 plus 5 into 80 it is totally 600 so tr minus tc 800 by uh, minus 600 it is 200 is a profit it is not a break even point but break even point gives room to earn more profit uh, while linear cost profit volume analysis can be very use uh, is very useful and frequently used by the business executive why because uh there are a lot of uh, government authorities or the industry approval all these things they use uh, call what is your target so we must take care while applying this particular thing why because it assumes a constant price and average ca variable cost which holds good for both cp analysis and break even analysis if the price and average variable cost are not constant a non linear break even analysis <clears throat> should be applied so we should know the difference between the linear and non linear for example uh, income and consumption are having the linear relation because out of income we are consuming something so there is a possibility when income increases consumption also increases but not equally but what is non linear income and medical expenses it is not because we are not going to uh, uh, do the medical expense frequently unforeseen uh, sickness may cause more than income so it is a non linear one. so this break even analysis we must know whether this is applied for the linear relation or a non linear relation with this let us complete our class
let me summarize uh, what we discussed in today's class. We started with the break-even analysis and we have defined break-even uh, point, safety margin, targeted profit. And of course, uh, we started with the cost, volume, profit analysis, and of course, uh, how to construct the break-even chart. The key factors or uh, key words in this topic is BEP, break-even point, BEC, break-even chart, safety margin, and target profit. You can expect a section C question in this particular unit. With this, we'll complete our class. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubt, kindly contact me. Thank you.